When you think of a cathedral, you may not have a garden shed in mind. The Priory Chapel and Cathedral Church of Our Lady Bewley is hidden in a Portsmouth back garden. It was brought to life by Father Julian Kent. Well, when we moved here, um, this is our sixth year here, uh, it had been a laundry. Nobody actually uses these um, sheds for anything other than what they're not meant for. And um, one of the remits when I was looking for this house is that it had a space large enough to be a chapel. I spent many nights down there and I worked on it solidly until I had finished. We are an independent Catholic denomination, the Ecumenical Catholic Church UK, and actually our parish priest was elected um, uh, bishop uh, last year, and so he needed somewhere to park his throne. And, and that is what defines a cathedral, uh, the presence not the size of the building, but the presence of a bishop's throne, which is actually called a cathedra. Although he can't be entirely sure, Father Julian says that this might be the world's smallest fully functioning cathedral, and many of the items in here were found in charity shops or on flea markets. I found when I was browsing through a flea market in France once a nice statue of St Bernard. Um, so I then set about looking for a similar statue of St. Benedict so, uh, because they're mounted either side of the altar. St. Benedict is not of the same quality but is similar enough to, to, to be a match. Um, I have uh, I found a, a, a statue of St. James, a beautifully hand-carved wooden statue and hand-painted of St. James um, in a Salvation Army shop. Father Julian is especially proud of the newly built part of the chapel that he made. He calls it the organ chamber, but it's also the colours of the place that stand out. I think the overall effect when you go through it is, is one of a burst of colour um, that, uh, that certainly our medieval churches would have been before they were all whitewashed. Now I don't have frescoes on the wall, but I do have a lot of colour and that's, what I, that's the effect I wanted to achieve. The unique place has now been nominated for an award as Shed of the Year. A member of my congregation uh, wrote to Shed of the Year and suggested that, um, uh, that, that he said that Father Julian's uh, Shed should be win Shed of the Year because he has turned it into the world's smallest cathedral. Now, I don't know if that is true, as I said, but... Um, uh, it certainly must be up there amongst the smallest. Uh, so th th they got in, con un in touch with me and the next thing I knew uh, there were f film crew all over the garden and in the chapel and uh, interviewing me for Shed of the Year. And um, so it's all very exciting and all very, it all happened very quickly and it's just, it's been fun to enter it. I don't really mind if I don't win it. <laughs> But it would be, you know, I do encourage my friends to vote, so I must be slightly uh, interested. <laughs> Visiting maybe the smallest cathedral in the world is only possible by invitation, which can be received by Facebook. Nicole Ries, for That's TV 3.